Welcome back boys and girls, my name is Georgi and you're watching Just Shake or Steer. And today video it's for all of those out there who loves pity and smoky whiskies. Yes, so if you don't like it, I mean I'm okay if you don't watch the video, okay? But stay for a second because if you're one of those people who wants to experience the pity whiskey and the smokiness of the single mouths and start learning slowly the taste of this wonderful drum, this cocktail is also for you. So, the cocktail is called Smoked Highball and I did create this cocktail uh, two months ago. However, I've put it in the bar which I work and I wanted to see how it's received and so far it's very well received. So I think it's time to share with you a signature recipe with a very pity whiskey, but made very tasty and delicious for anybody out there, doesn't matter if you like or don't like whiskey. So if you're ready, sit back, relax, and let's make the smoked highball. Okay, so for the smoked highball, as I mentioned, I wanted to introduce a whiskey to everybody. So first of all, for the people who like pity whiskey, but it's kind of a still not sure if they want to try in a cocktail. And for those of you who wants to try a whiskey or maybe experience and explore the huge world of uh, single mouth whiskey, but you're kind of not ready yet for the pitiness and the smokiness coming from some of these whiskies. So, today I'm gonna use a small head. Now, this version of small head, the green label, it's only available for bars, but you can find the red label or you can find the yellow label. However, if it's not available for you, you can use Lafroyac or you can use any heavy pitted whiskey like Port Charlotte, Auburn, Lagavulin, anything which have more pitiness and smokiness to the character of the whiskey because we're gonna preserve this smokiness and pitiness but we're gonna lower down and balance it so it's very nice received and it's very easy to drink so let's see the ingredients as i mentioned i'm using the smoke hat which is quite pity this one have a lovely spice note and a kind of a ginger and vanilla in it it's very good and it's especially created for mixing so if you can find it, I mean any of the small head, okay? The next ingredient is Amaro. So I'm using Vecchio Amaro di Capo. However, if it's not available for you, you can use Amaro Montenegro or any Amaro you have home. Then you're gonna need honey syrup. Grab yourself a Monin or any other brand honey syrup. Or if you wanna make your own, use three to one ratio. Usually I use a raw honey with a water mix but bear in mind the shelf life, it won't be that long, like the one which you get from the shop. Finally, you're gonna need some sparkling water, some cloudy apple juice, cold press apple juice. Don't get concentrate, don't get clear apple juice, cloudy. You're gonna need some lemon or a lime. In this case, I'm using a lime. So use the citrus you have because it's not necessary to be lime or lemon, whatever you have available. And finally, Angostura bitter. Yeah, lots of ingredients, so let's crack on. Now the cocktail is shaken and we're gonna start first with our whiskey, which is 45 ml or ounce and a half of your whiskey first. Then we're gonna move to the Amaro. We're gonna bring some, a little bit of bitterness to the cocktail, just to lower down this smoke and pitiness of the whiskey, okay? So we need only 15 ml or a half an ounce. Perfect. Get one of my small trays here. Wonderful. Honey syrup. Again, 15 ml or a half an ounce. Now the honey is gonna make uh, no, it's gonna make, it's gonna introduce a little bit of sweetness to the cocktail, which it's pairing fantastic with the whiskey and it's gonna lower down again this kick of the whiskey coming to you, okay? 
cloudy apple juice, you need 25 ml. Or you can use an ounce if you want. And finally, lime juice, 15 ml or half an ounce. And we are ready. Of course, the soda is gonna come in the end. And you have two options here. Now, one of the options is to put the Angostura straight away a shake. The other option is to float it on the top with the soda. I will show you the second option because it's much better for visual and it still introduces a lovely nuance of the Angostura bitter to the cocktail. So for now, we're gonna leave it. We're gonna grab some ice and give it a shake. Oh, need a different one. There you go. So you don't need too much shaking here. You just need to cool down the cocktail, mix the ingredients. It's gonna be served over ice. So it's just a, like a really quick shake. Not too much. Don't spend too much time shaking. All right, less than a 10 seconds, a quick one. And I'm gonna shake with one hand because my left arm is killing me. So I'm gonna be doing a one hand jaw today. There we go. Around 10 seconds. Wonderful. I can put this on the side. And it's up to you if you want to double strain. You don't have to because there's nothing really to stop falling in the glass. And of course, we're going to serve over ice. So it really doesn't matter, to be honest. So grab your high bow of choice. And again, fill it up with ice. Now the high bow needs to be filled up to the top with ice. Okay, and don't put just a few cubes. This cocktail needs to be served with a full glass of ice. And uh, as I mentioned, it's it's my recipe, obviously inspired by a few cocktails, uh, ideas which I combine and experiment. And I hope you're gonna like it. And I wanna hear from you when you try it, how you feel about it. It doesn't matter with the whiskey, as far as you find out a good Pity and smoky whiskey. It's very important because it's called smoked highball. Okay, that's what is bring the smokiness to the cocktail, not anything else. So strain your cocktail. It's gonna leave a very little space on the top just to put a little bit of sparkling water or a soda water, which is gonna dilute the cocktail even more. So there you go. Wonderful. And I'm gonna drop two, three dashes of Angostura bitter. If you like it more bitter, feel free to improvise. There we go, four. Came to four, we're doing four. Get your bar spoon and just give it a little swirl on the top, just to mix the Angostura bitter with the soda on the top. Now, when you serve it, you can start drinking, the soda slowly is gonna go down. If you want to mix the whole cocktail together, just drop your bar spoon, give it a little gentle stir to mix all together and enjoy yourself. And finally, for a garnish, this is recommended if you can find, if not, you can garnish with a lime wedge, but I will garnish mine with a kaffir lime leaf the smell of the kaffir lime leaf is just insane. So you just put it on the top and it's ready to go. And this, my friends, is the smoked highball. Let's give it a sip. Mm. So if you leave the Angostura on the top with the soda, that's what you're gonna get. You get on the nose this wonderful lime kaffir leaf with the smokiness of the whiskey and the pitiness it's coming. But if you drink it straight away, just with the soda on the top, it's gonna be refreshing with a slightly bitter taste to kind of introduce your palate to be ready for what is coming next as a whiskey pitiness and lemon and honey and the apple juice. Now, I'm gonna mix it just so we can give you a more idea of what's happening when you mix it. There we go. Still gonna drop my leaf here. 
Oh, I love this cocktail and I'm very proud of it. So I really want some of you to try and let me know. You have the smokiness, you have the bitter, you have the sweetness from the honey, you have the apple juice freshness and tart, you have the amaro complement the Angostura bitter and it's coming this lovely herbal botanical on the end with a little bit of bitter notes. It's just, it's fantastic guys. I hope you're really gonna try this. Please tag me on Instagram, send me a message here. Just let me know how you feel about this recipe and as always, I'm gonna see you next week with another video. I have something else for you, a very tiny cocktail, but very nice, and I hope you're gonna like it. But until then, I'm gonna go enjoy my smoked highball, and as always, I love you, and I leave you. Bye-bye.